Hi everybody, it's Gigi, that's Tink, and welcome to Gigi's Toys and Collectibles. Are you guys ready to see what Tink has in his trunk for us today? Yay! All right, let's get started. How about we start right up here with a Barbie. This is a little Barbie kitten, little figure. There goes her little ball of yarn. So she comes with cute accessories. So let's look at her really quick. Oh my goodness, adorable. Look at the little cute little Barbie bow with the Barbie symbol on there. She's a beautiful little like chocolate color. This little chocolate brown color. Her little kitty tail. These are a good solid plastic figure. I found mine at my Dollar Tree. And then it comes with a little purple basket. It's got the Barbie logo on there on both sides. There you go. This is a lightweight plastic. Look how cute she sits in there. Here she comes with the smallest little ball of yarn you ever saw. This is another uh, solid plastic piece. So cute. Does it roll? Yes, it does. Right to you, Tink. <laughs> we'll let Tink keep the ball of yarn. Okay, let's do, how about this one back here? Uh, Kitty in my pocket. These are the ones we can get. I remember these. Very cute. I did a whole video opening all of these. Oh, you know what? Let's try to get one we didn't get. Oh, we didn't get Smokey. Hey, we have two kittens. I didn't do that on purpose. Okay, let's see who we get. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is a double for me, but one of my favorites. Little tongue sticking out, kissing the, licking her little paw. <laughs> I think this is a little mouse. Because it's not really clear on the picture, but it looks like the color of a mouse. <laughs> and these are, of course, all fuzzy. Very sweet. Solid figure, too. Got some nice weight to it. Okay, let's see who we got. Oh, there it is. We got Maxwell. We're saving our best for last. Okay, how about this one? Ooh, okay, so this is the Smashers Dino Island. I think I found this one at my Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, no. I smashed it. Oh, no, you guys. I accidentally smashed it coming out of the packaging. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see it together. Oh, it's all smashed. Well, that was kind of unsatisfying. <laughs> Let's see our figure. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. Look at this. I loved these smashers. I've opened them before. It's been quite a while. Actually, it's been, yeah, it's been quite a while. Look at the gold on the top. Wow, and the big open mouth. <laughs> oh, look, it's got the little Smasher logo on the paw. Okay, let me try to find this on the checklist. Okay, so here's the checklist. It's not as big as I thought it was, these little individual smashers. So that's cool. I like a, a smaller series sometimes. So this is the one we got right here. We got Bear. Okay, next up in Tink's trunk is this little mini figure of Sesame Street's Big Bird. Oh, look, here's the ones we can get in this collection. Ooh, okay, let's open it up. Wow, Big Bird is solid. Big Bird is a very solid piece and it's so cute and tiny and mini. The cat nindle. <laughs> but I love like all the details in this little mini mini figure. It's super bright yellow, of course, like Big Bird is. Oh my goodness. His little tail. He's waving high. Boop. Boop, boop. Hi, big bird. These big old feet. Again, solid plastic. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, and of course, we got big bird. 
Okay, and last thing out of the trunk is the star of the show, dun, 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 Disney Dorables. This is the movie moments, and you guys, these come with codes. Thank goodness, these are the ones we can get in the series. But do you know which one we got today? You probably saw it in the description of this video, but hopefully. This CO44 is supposed to be the Nightmare Before Christmas. We're about to find out together. Yes, my husband and I were in the Austin area recently and we stopped at Target and these were there. We were looking up codes in the store. <laughs> so we got quite a few movie moments coming up in some of Tink's trunks. So stay tuned for those. But since it's almost Halloween, I thought we will open this one. It's it's officially October. Yeah, as I'm filming this, I think it's today October 1st. I believe it is. It's Sunday, October 1st. Okay. And is this a reveal? What do we do here? My goodness, as many videos as I've seen, I still don't know what to do. Okay, we're just gonna rip this open. Oh, <gasps> you guys. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. And there is the, the scene in the back, the huge moon. Look at the little pumpkins. Okay. This is on there super tight. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. We got zero. We got Jack. We got the scene back here. Wow, here's our checklist. Oh, look at that. The floor there. It says Disney Dorables. This is, of course, just a light plastic, light plastic piece there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys look at this. Wow, wow. Look at the jack-o'-lanterns faces. Oh my goodness. This is even more awesome than I thought it was going to be. This is a hollow piece. Super lightweight plastic, but it's still like very detailed. Look, there's the little pegs where our adorables are going to sit. Okay, I'm excited. Here's zero. There is cute Zero, and he looks exactly like the other Dorables. If you ever got the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Dorables pack, uh, this is exactly the same little Dorable. It looks like to me anyway, the little pumpkin on the nose. Boop. <laughs> Here is Jack looking awesome. Wow, look at the eyes. Who his nose is even like comes out a little bit on the adorable. I didn't notice that on my last Jack Skellington that I opened recently. Well, not recently. It's been a while. It's still so cute. Okay, let me set him up. Of course, you got the little peg there. Wow, they fit on really nice. There you go, you can take this off. Makes it a little easier to set up your little scene there. And then there's two pegs, two pegs. We're gonna line this up. And then this just snaps back down into place. That's what it looks like from the back. All the way around. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so worth it. I don't know if I told you, these don't come off. They're just part of the piece of the little heel here. Mm, I love these. Here's a quick look at the checklist. I'm sure you guys have seen this a few times, but if you haven't, there you go. There is Nightmare Before Christmas and it's a rare. 
All right, you guys, that's everything in Tink's trunk today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe before you go if you haven't already. It helps me create more fun content for you and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.